pagkulang sa tulog. Wow. Kala mo, Kim Chu ang katawan. Girl fights like that. Ah, wala kong <laughs> ganun. Wala. How to friend zone someone, kware, hindi mo type. This is a hard, fast talk, ha? I don't care. Eh, 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 eh. I'm Jessica with Camille and Gia, and you're watching G-Talk. Mommy Squad is a talk show where they discuss all things motherhood and life experiences. One of the mommies is called the Entrepreneur Mom. There's also a Kikai Mom and a Stateside Mom. So please welcome the beautiful Mommy Squad, Aramina, Say Alonso, and Melissa Rick. Woo! Hello! 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 Hello. Hi, Mom Squad! Hello! Hi, Hi everyone! It's nice to meet you online. We're so yes. excited to be here. We're super Same excited here. to have you, and it's time to get to know the beautiful mommies. So let's play G Talk's two minute alphabet fast talk. We Ooh. want the first thought that come to each of your minds and remember no explanation needed at the end of the game you'll get a chance to explain your responses so just one word for your responses and that's 26 questions from a to z are you guys ready oh i'm okay. nervous <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go I'll, I'll start us off a assumptions about you maldita kikai plada b <laughs> Most beautiful local celebrity. Christine Hermosa. Christine Hermosa. Christine Hermosa. See, a celebrity you're mistaken for. Sharon Taneta. Elise Hassan. You look like Queen. D, a self-discipline quote. Be kind na lang. Perseverance. Don't give up. E, most embarrassing moment. Asa. PBB. Red toner. <laughs> Yes, last girl fight. Oh, Meron no. kami niyan. <laughs> Wala. Quiet lang ako eh. Wala. Yeah. Uh, girl fight na ta yung ganun eh. Uh, ay, wala. Wala kaming ganun. <laughs> Misunderstanding lang. 2017. G, go to karaoke song. Mm. Dancing Queen. Stop. Uh, it's all coming back to me now. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, save high school memory. Hmm? Homeschool. Uh, after class, I eat scrambled outside the school. Okay. Ako cheerleading at halftime. Okay, I, my most impressive skill is... Uh, I think baking. Acting? Hosting. Jay, share something juicy about yourself. Engagement? Ako fruit na lang, orange. <laughs> because I'm getting married soon. I think uh, it's juicy. Kiss on the first day or play hard to get? Play hard, hard to get. What? Play hard to get. Hard to get. L, a short hookout line with acting. Ede kung ayaw mo, wag mo. Kaibigan mo lang ako. And I'm stupid and I'm falling in love with my best friend. Oh, into <laughs> Geralda. <laughs> Tama ba? Marvin Jolina. Yan. Ayan, bumubuela na. <laughs> Huwag ka nang umasa dahil ako ang mahal niya. Ako ang pinili niya. Oh, ayun ang mga oh, mahal. Grabe! <laughs> Taku -taku. Grabe! <laughs> I'm scared. Nag-internalize nag siya. M, I'm a good mom because... Patience. Understanding. Sacrifice. Letter N, a childhood nickname you didn't like. Ah, Munini. Wait, I like my childhood nickname. Cute. <laughs> Iyakin. The letter O. O A. Ako when it comes to bugs. Ah, cockroaches. Kids go. A smooth pickup line. No, I don't know any pickup lines. No one uses pickup lines on me. No, usang usip pa yung embassy, like the hottest club in Metro Manila, twelve years I... ago. Tapos laging may lumalapet. Yeah. You're always here. Hmm. Ano ako sa trabaho dito? Dilim ka ba? Kasi nung dumating ka, wala na ako makita ng iba. Letter Q, how to handle lovers' quarrels. Dead mom. <laughs> yeah, silence is the best killer. I agree. Mm. Or how to deal with rumors. Dead ma. Dead ma. Depende. Sometimes, <laughs> ah, kung magamit, head on, I answer it eh. 
It depends, ha. It depends. Pag dinamay na nila yung daughter mo and everything or your family, uh, there's a Laka. limit, ha. There's boundaries. If it's all about you, I don't okay. care. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Letter S. No to your younger self. Be brave. Yung first boyfriend mo, he's not the one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. See? You're doing the right thing. Keep it up. T. Tough love is blank. Is worth it. Difficult. Hard. You. Most unusual fan request. Take a picture when I was crying. Take a picture of your feet. Huh? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Can you take a picture of your feet? It's weird. <laughs> Thoughts on vanity sizing. Kasi iba iba naman talaga yung mga sizes. Like also here in the Philippines, sometimes yeah. in this brand I'm a I'm a small. This other brand I'm a large. Like and I go to Thailand, I'm an extra large. This is true. <laughs> this what? is true. And I'm a medium. Eh. Sometimes I'm a small also. Pero in Thailand, I'm an extra large. Maybe in the kids section. No, no, in the <laughs> ladies. Oh my goodness. They're, oh, they're oh, petite over there. They're very, very small. And then sabi ko, I looked at the back of the, the, the skirt and even the blazer, it says XL. Sabi ko, pala, XL na pala ako. So, ko, okay, sige, I'll take three. It didn't really hurt me kasi I, I know my real size. So, mm-hmm. what I think about it is, you know, if ganun yung size nila, hindi ako ma-hurt. Basta, I know in myself that I'm this size and I'm okay with it. And I'm trying my best to be perfectly well healthy and fit. And mm-hmm. if you think I'm a size XL, that's your problem. For me personally, it wouldn't matter what the size is. As long as you're comfortable in what you're wearing, then the size shouldn't really matter to you. If you like what you're buying, if it's a size 2, a size 6, size 8, if you like it, then you should buy it. The size wouldn't, wouldn't affect how I yeah. would feel about the the product or the brand. Started my um, lost weight journey before my 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 pants doesn't fit uh, with me anymore. Then I lost weight. Now I'm all my clothes are maluwag. So napupunta ako minsan sa kid section for because I want a small. But yung small dito yung may mga sizes na malaki pa rin. Wow, kala mo Kim Chua ang katawan. <laughs> Fashion na sa akin yung ano, kid section. Hey, what's breakup line? Uh, it's not you, it's me. Twice ko narinig yun. Name uh, na ba natin? Okay, joke. <laughs> I've experienced the ano, the fixed marriage. I'm still young. Then, siguro mga ano pa ako, mga 19? Oo, para mga ganun yata, 19. Hindi pa kami. He's still, uh, he's courting that time. But, uh, he made pa alam to stop courting because um, kailangan daw niya pumalit sa brother niya for the fixed marriage because nag, um, nag, uh, against yung brother niya na ayaw niya pakasalan yung girl. So, sabi ko, napaka masunurin mo namang anak. So, go ahead. Tapos siya daw ang papalit. May ganun pala. <laughs> sabi ko, nali- naligaw ka pa. <laughs> eh, eh, pero nagugustuhan ko na siya noon. Gusto ko na siyang sagutin. Tapos bigla siyang guma... Siguro, nung nakita niyang nagkakagusto na ako, weird, no? When he said na, aayusin ko muna ang sarili ko. <laughs> Weh. <laughs> Tapos, wala. Hindi naman niya inayo. Same, same. <laughs> Letter X, what is your X factor? They said my dimples. Kasi marami yan eh. Marami ba? Meron din sa likod. Joke. <laughs> Presence? Personality. Why the real secret of youthfulness? Well, uh, I reveal uh, some of my secret in our show. We have a we have a name already. It's the Red Toner. <laughs> no, it's just ano, be positive in life. That's that's all. Think positive. Now, kay Arayon, try not to think about stressful stuff too much because you'll get wrinkles. And then it's also proven if you Google it, Google. If it's proven that if you think uh, about negative stuff a lot, then it's gonna mm-hmm. happen to you. So just think mm-hmm. positively. Be happy and stay away from stress. Letter Z, how to friend zone someone. Yeah, I would say, oh, BFF, what's up? You know what? There's this guy that I like, cute. What do you think? Do you think? Something like that. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell him about a guy that I find cute so that he knows that he, it's not him. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs>
me uh busy i'm kind of busy sorry <laughs> sorry i'm in a meeting okay. <laughs> i just oh. team zone them i just don't answer zone. well see that was fun right it wasn't too stressful <laughs> yes <laughs> a little bit <laughs> Well, now we get to go through your actual answers. You guys said tough love is difficult, worth it, hard. Well, before having a kid, um, there is one, a tough love um, with my brother. He did bad things, so I need to do this because I'm the eldest um, sister and my mom is old already, so I need to decide for my brother. I did it for him, and now he's in good um, state. And he, he's, I know, he's doing good. He has a job. He's doing fine. He's better now. Before, uh, his life is waste. I remember that time we were taping. You had to make a difficult decision, but ngayon okay na siya. I remember when you told me na he's okay now. I'm, so, I'm so happy. Yes, because uh, I'm monitoring. I monitor his life. Na, no, way. Eh. Um, no, the time na uh, pinakuha ko siya mm -mm. Uh, uh, to bring him somewhere. And I I heard the ano the um, commotion. It's really hard. I'm crying. Mm -mm. Um, they said uh, we're here in the gate. Um, hindi siya <laughs> nagaano eh. Um, wala siyang pusa. Kailangan mo daanin sa ganon. You need yeah. to do that because he will not um. Hindi siya, makikinig. Oo, mm -hmm. hindi siya makikinig na gawin mo to. So, and um, dumarating na sa point na nagiging worse na siya and he has kids. So, mm -hmm. it's really hard. And now, uh, I'm very happy that I did that. It's a tough mm -hmm. love. Um, I think I, I I got tough love from my mom. My mom is very strict. She would always um, tell me not to do this, not to do that. Um, but you know, at the end of everything, you know that because I'm like always mad at her. I was always upset with her because she she would like parang destroy the fun for me or something like that. But now I I totally understand when I had a daughter na yung tough love talaga is because wala namang magulang na gustong mapasama yung anak nila. They always want the best for us. And um, no matter how it hurts them, na nakikitang nagagalit kami sa kanila, it's for us din naman. Um, and I realize now that I'm a, I'm a mom, that my mom did all the right things. Um, na matigas palang ulo ko talaga. I learned a lot of things from my mom, and it took me becoming a mother to to realize that that all of that tough love was definitely worth it, and it builded me to become a better person and a better mother. Same with Melissa, but I'll different. I'll give a different example. Sa kids ko naman, what I do is they're not allowed to play with gadgets. My first born si Asher when, and I didn't really know how to take care of a baby back then, so. But an easy way out, I would give him an iPad so he'll just be quiet. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when he turned three years old, parang his attitude, parang he just wants to have the iPad and all the time. And if you take it away from him, he would cry. When when he was about to turn four, his dad and I made a de uh, decision. We we're like, oh, we're just gonna go cold turkey. We're just gonna take it away from him. So. We one day we finally got fed up. We took it away from him and we told him that you're never gonna touch this iPad ever again. You're just gonna play with your toys. You're just gonna draw. You can watch TV, but no gadgets, no phones, nothing. So he cried for about a week. He would cry. He would just wawala talaga siya and everything around the house. But after a week, he was okay. He won't ask for it anymore until now. So I guess you know that's a that's a good example. I think of of love. Say earlier you mentioned that your favorite karaoke song is Stop. <clears throat> yeah. Song, gotta slow it down, baby. Gotta have some fun. Friday night and the lights are low. Okay, tama na. Concert na to. Juicy. Somebody said marriage. What's the juicy behind marriage? Well, I just got engaged on um, this January 12th, mm -hmm. and then um, I'm doing the preparations. I'm getting married this year, but there's an ECQ, so <laughs> let's see what will happen. 
you know. Uh, but uh, tuloy pa rin yung marriage. It's already, ano, 100% complete. So you have your dress and everything. Everything's ready. Yes. Maybe after Holy Week, I'm going to, ano, fit the gown. Who made you dress? But, but I haven't posted yet in my social media. And it's my first time to say in your show that it's 100% complete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I'm I'm kind of discreet because um I don't want to reveal um every details of my wedding but soon I will. So you can tell us the the designer of your gown. Sabihin Filipino. Ba? Filipino designer? Ano, yeah, Filipino designer. He's okay. a Filipino designer but um he did lots of um, gowns for the for the queens and for other international uh, clients. Albert Albert Andrada? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Secret. Michael Cinco? Eh. <laughs> uh, may, okay. Maybe it's a, no, no, it's a nice game, no? For our mommy squad, no? <laughs> right? Guess See? who made the gown. Designer. Yeah, yeah. Guess the designer. <laughs> Guess who's the designer of my gown. And Melissa is in my entourage. And say supposedly, but um, she's still, I know, uh, stay at home. <laughs> she's, she's in quarantine. Yeah. And she, I understand, but in my heart, I know she wants to be my entourage. Oh, no, man. I actually told mm. her she got engaged, or before before she even met her fiance, I go, Basta bridesmaid ako, ah. Yes, yes, I also got engaged <laughs> <laughs> last year, August. But the juicy part of that is uh, I can't get married because I can't get my papers from the embassy because there's COVID and they only do emergency services. Yes. <laughs> so all of my other friends are getting married before yeah. me kahit ako yung unang na engaged. Yeah. I'm oh, attending yeah. all of my friends' weddings as entourage, as their bridesmaids. Soon enough. Soon. Oh, congratulations to both of you. How exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, all of you, your sisterhood is amazing. I can see how tight knit you are and it's kind of the sister group that every girl wishes they had. It's so great to see the three of you together like this. Pretty sure a lot of moms and moms-to-be will be tuning in to watch the Mommy Squad. As the saying goes, uh, one woman can make a difference, but together we can rock the world. Yeah. Yes, so thank you so much, you beautiful, sexy mommies for sharing all of your stories. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you. It was thank so nice meeting all of you. And we leave you with this quote. Be the woman who fixes another woman's crown without telling the world it's crooked. Thanks for watching.